Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this video. Appreciate your time and your support. Shooting this vid with my LG V20. I am not mic'd in, so please let me know down below in the comment section how everything looks and how everything sounds. It's been a little over two months since I purchased my OnePlus 7 Pro over at the OnePlus website. This is the Unlock variant, not the T-Mobile variant. 8 gig of RAM, 256 gig of internal storage, an amazing smartphone, totally worth my money. 700 smacks is what I invested in this smartphone, and I have no regrets, no remorse whatsoever. I wanted to take a little time and share my experiences and my opinions with all of you on my OP7 Pro. What this smartphone has been for me over the last couple months. It has just been a phenomenal experience. This is truly a powerhouse device. Shout out to OnePlus for creating a very solid, very solid, good looking smartphone. Feels great in hand. And for me, right out of the box, giving me one of the ex best experiences I've had when buying, when considering buying any smartphone. These don't come cheap. And this investment the 700 smacks i spent on it over at the oneplus website no remorse no regrets oneplus you killed it you killed it for me and hopefully for a lot of you out there and for a lot of you that started out with not such a very good positive especially uh with all the news surrounding the cameras the triple threat cameras on the back that they weren't performing that the way that they should for a 700 dollars smartphone software update after software update after software update I'm getting a lot of feedback that it's a lot better for those of you that, well, you just didn't believe in that area. For me, out of the box, it's always killed it. I'll take the software updates, but I never had a problem with the cameras, whether it was taking pictures or shooting video from the rear or with the pop-up camera right up top there. Never. But I understand you are not me and I am not you. Some of you decided just to move on and go with something else. And it's your money, you work hard for your money. That's the kind of decision you're gonna make, and kudos to you. Hopefully you're happy with what you decided to bring in outside of the smartphone. But for me, this smartphone, not just that it's a sexy, good looking device, Nubula Blue back there, you see that? The OnePlus logo, the triple threat camera there, the pop-up camera, the all screen, all display, no notches, no teardrops, no pill cutouts, none of that. Now, I got my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus right over there with the pill cutout. I'll watch movies on that smartphone. Beautiful AMOLED display. And after a while, I don't even notice that pill cutout's there. But how much better to have a display that just doesn't have any interference whatsoever. Okay, again, not to take away from my S10 Plus. This device is a sweet smartphone in a lot of areas. To each their own on what they want to bring in. But if you're considering the OP7 Pro, wow, it's been a huge wow for me. Um, in the last couple of weeks, I haven't been around. I've been on vacation, uh, spent a few days at the Oregon coast yeah, with my family, came home, spent a few days here, running around, getting to some areas, doing some things that I typically, I typically can't when I'm working. And uh, yeah, just family time. Uh, I've now been back to work for a few days, getting back into the routine of work life and, and, and family life, uh, you know, outside of vacation. I still got another vacation coming, but that's why you haven't heard from me. That's why I disappeared. But I was using this smartphone on vacation. I took my S10 Plus. I took my uh, Google Pixel 2 XL, but I used this smartphone, my OP7 Pro, about 90% of the time. Pick slideshow uh, that I created and uploaded for all of you. Uh, last week, I'll leave a link down below in the description area. Check that out. The pictures, the video in that slideshow, all done with my OP7 Pro. Uh, just, yeah, I couldn't pull myself away from this device. For me, the number one area, especially when I go to the coast, uh, connectivity can be kind of spotty, but I had a better connectivity there at the Oregon coast with this smartphone than I've had with any other smartphone I've ever owned. 4G, LTE, connectivity, T-Mobile, my carrier, out and about, doing great, thumbs up, no complaints whatsoever. So as a phone, OnePlus, yeah, huge shout out for creating a beautiful, sexy, 
powerhouse device that gives me so much in so many areas. But at the end of the day, it's a phone and it it's, does what it needs to do. It gets the job done 100%. You have 90 hertz refresh rate that you can change to 60 hertz, but why would you? No need to do that. It's not going to affect your performance and functionality. Not whatsoever. This smartphone is well optimized. You have Oxygen OS over the top of Android Pie, Android 9, and everything is working great together. No lag, no stick, no stutter. Fluid, buttery experience. There's so much to love about this smartphone. And for me, outside of it being a phone, outside of it being well optimized, having that 90 hertz refresh rate, media, watching movies, YouTube videos, listening to music, the dual speaker. You have a speaker up top that doubles up as an earpiece and at the bottom right hand corner right there. Are they the best speakers? Well, that's that's opinion. They get the job done. They are great. I have no complaints. In fact, we're going to listen to a little bit of music here and uh, and let you hear what these speakers sound like. This is free non-copyright music. And you can let me know down below what you think. Dolby Atmos going on here as well in the settings. It's a great option to, to utilize when listening to music or watching movies. Just a sample of how beautiful the OP7 Pro display is. Just gorgeous. I know this is not the best way to test this area out. It's the best that I can do. Enjoy for a few moments. Wow, that was beautiful. Another area that I wanted to get to before I checked out of here was battery life. On this day, eight hours and 18 minutes, I will edit in the screenshots. Seven hours, one minute, seven hours, 34 minutes. Great battery life. That's what it's been like with my OnePlus 7 Pro over the last couple months, over a couple months. And uh, most of you know that when it comes to using uh, my smartphones, not just for myself, but going through the reviewing process, I do a lot when I bring uh, any smartphone in. The OP7 Pro gets no pass, whether it's using it as a phone, as a, as a media device, whether I'm doing homework, I'm web browsing, 
checking out the latest rumors, leaks, whatever it is I'm checking out, whatever homework I'm gathering, it's constant feedback to the team. You're, you're constantly sending me uh, feedback and, and I'm doing my best to get to all of that. Uh, a little bit of social media and the editing that goes on on all the content I create happens on all my smartphones. Again, the OP7 Pro gets no pass. I download apps for the Play Store, editing apps. They all uh, do great for what they are. They all do something different. And so, so sometimes I only need one app. Sometimes I need two or three to create the content I'm doing. So um, you can just imagine all what's going on while I'm doing the editing, the processing. If the processing is going on in the background, I could be watching a movie while that processing is going on. And that's where the well optimization of this device comes in because there is no issues whatsoever with what I mentioned earlier, the lag, the stutter, the stick, the freezing, none of that's going on. Uh, The device can get a little warm, but it does not overheat, does not freeze. So I'm creating that that, a video, that processing is going um, on in the background before it uploads to all of you. And I'm watching a movie. Okay. And, and, and everything's working great. Everything is smooth. So that's awesome when it comes to, uh, um, utilizing this device in those areas for me because I don't use a PC, laptop, or tablet to create the content. Uh, and, and the well optimization allows for all of that to work together and the battery life to still stay as great as it is at 90 hertz refresh rate as well. So with that being said, um, the cameras on the rear and the pop-up camera, I'm not going to get into that in depth. I'm going to let those areas speak for themselves. Uh, you have a 48 megapixel regular wide, you have an 8 megapixel um, uh, telephoto and a 16 megapixel um, ultra wide. The pop-up camera is a 16 megapixel shooter. I'm going to give you a pic slideshow at the end of this video. Please watch it. You be the judge. Going to let the OP7 Pro speak for itself. I will take a selfie and I will uh, put this in the pic slideshow. There we go. Totally digging that pop up camera. And one other area that I wanted to cover, and that is the screen protector that I have on my OP7 Pro. I did peel off the original screen protector that came with the OnePlus M Pro out of the box. I have a video on these tempered grass, tempered, not tempered grass, tempered glass screen protectors from Samoon. I will leave a link down below in the description area for these screen protectors. Um, they are not full adhesive. They will not totally adhere to all the display of your OP7 Pro. Uh, So you have this black border that has the adhesive and um, that's what I have on there right now. But let me show you how it's been over time. So this is an update and I've had no issues whatsoever. Pick up my device and bam, I use my thumb. You will have to re-register your uh, fingerprint, whether it's your thumbprint or fingerprint. Uh, once you put on this temper glass screen protector, if you decide to bring this in, delete what you have and put in your thumbprint or fingerprint, I would say at least twice, and you should get a great response like I'm getting. And so there's the update to that. Uh, the dongle working great with my headsets. I basically use Cohen headsets. Uh, I do use my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus earbuds. I have no issues with uh, being wired in. Bluetooth, uh, in my car I have a Nulexy uh, um, receiver that works great. Connectivity with that works great. No issues whatsoever. Any questions on that? I'll leave a link, uh, uh, down, links down below in the description area for the couple of Cohen headsets I use a lot and the Nulexy receiver. So Bluetooth, Bluetooth connectivity working great. Uh, I mostly utilize that in my car. I I like to be wired in when it comes to my headsets or earbuds, but Bluetooth still works great with my Cohen headsets. My OP7 Pro is a phenomenal powerhouse device. No regrets, no remorse, $700 well spent. At the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, what is cost effective in the experience you're looking for in a smartphone? What's gonna do it for you? What does a smartphone have to have? What kind of sacrifices can you make? For me, this was a no-brainer. Money well spent. Like I said earlier in the video, no remorse, no regrets. 700 smacks. My OP7 Pro is giving, every, giving me everything I need and more. 
I can live without the wireless charging, the official IP rating, and the headphone jack. But can you? Right now, in 2019, for what I've brought in and reviewed, this is my favorite smartphone. This is one of my best experiences ever. Now I know down the road, I'll be picking up some other smartphones, and who knows? Who knows? There's, there's probably something out there that can take the place of what I'm experiencing right now with my OP7 Pro. We'll have to wait and see, but for right now, this smartphone is approved. Is approved by me, and in my opinion, I do recommend it. I really do. Enjoy the slideshow.